I'm Pat Gunn, and this is a Let's Play of Skyrim. So, I'm trying something new here. Well, actually, I'm, I'm doing two things new here since my last episode. Uh, firstly, I dropped the resolution a bit, and I'm hoping that that will uh, improve the performance. And, unfortunately, I broke my headphones. So... I have disabled all sound so that uh, I don't get an echo. And I'm hoping that that won't... Um, I'm hoping that we don't end up uh, losing too much from hearing the, the voices in the game. I'm a little bit regretful because this being my first playthrough, I, I've never actually heard them. But the other option is not actually doing any more of the Let's Play until I get replacement headphones, and that's not really workable. So, anyhow, what we're doing is we are returning to the tomb, I think. Wait, did I miss something here? Huh. That's odd. Because the game did indicate that... Well, let's see what the quest marker says again. Quest marker says... I want to wait inside the Ulan tomb. Okay, so maybe, I don't know if she's, if she is actually one of, uh, one of that rifle house, but, wait inside the Ulan tomb. I guess I'll follow her. And it might make sense to ha have an Dramore Lord on hand. Okay, well. Okay, so. I guess the game does think that I've completed this little bit of the quest. It was seemed kind of buggy. I'm not sure if that quest was working right, but where is he? He is over to the right a little bit, I guess. So she might be a spy from one of the other houses. So if you missed out on some of the political intrigue, one of the... Uh, Okay, so, anyhow, I'm going to go search somebody's house for evidence. And that is over to the left somewhere. this will work out because my sneak skill is not that amazing. Whoa, what the? 
Okay, that was kind of weird. Huh. Yeah, that's pretty weird. Where am I? Okay, I'm inside Severn Manor. And... I suspect that that was a bug. That doesn't, didn't seem like normal behavior. And uh, I'm not sure where this evidence is. The quest marker doesn't seem to be uh, working right. Whoop! There is a person there. Fortunately, I seem to be able to hide in plain sight here, which is kind of handy. But I guess my sneak skill is really pretty decent. I wonder, oh, where'd they go? Yeah, this is... This seems to be kind of buggy. Seems everybody is into alchemy. Here. Let's see what's over here. Oh. What is that? Two guard things. And many guard things. So what I'm looking for is some kind of evidence here, but I'll scoop up some soul gems. Weapons, weapons, wep uh, skulls. Okay, that's kind of creepy. Yeah, there's really nothing in there to help. Maybe there's something in here. No? Okay, well, it's kind of neat that the game is being a little bit less handholdy when it comes to... Uh... Aha! This looks promising. When it comes to helping me uh, finish the quests. Okay, let's try... Ah, that looks like a plan for betrayal. And I just hope that it won't be impossible to uh, to slip out of here, given the state of... Um, okay, that's really not even sure what those things were. Mm, I guess I won't rob the place blind, but let's kind of nervous about making it out of here. Um, so let's save the game. And uh, let's try and jump for it. Okay. Yeah, it looks like I managed to press the open door button before I slipped too far past the door. And I made it out. Cool. So, where am I going now? Now I am bringing the evidence over there, which is just about straight ahead. Pretty crazy bug. He is over here to the right, and I can give him the evidence of the betrayal. Yeah, the 
usual stuff. Okay, so let's head out and out, and let's hope that we don't have to go back in the buggy house. Okay, so where is the Midoran guard? Oh, they're way up here. Okay, so I've never been anywhere in that vicinity yet, but guess there's always a first. I am kind of curious whether... Okay, so Bone Mold was added, and Chitin... Man, this... oh, that is one sweet-looking bow. Why does all the, this Nordic stuff have to be heavy armor, though? Oh, yeah, some of this stuff is from mods. Are there any new... Nope, nothing there. Okay, so it just added those new types. And Bone Mold is heavy. Chitin is light, but it's not really all that... Oh no, Chitin... There are light and heavy Chitins. And Nordic is totally badass looking, but it's all heavy. Pity. Well, I guess I can do a Nordic dagger. I really should get a dagger at some point if I'm going to be leveling. Um, if I'm going to be leveling uh, backstab. So where am I going now? I'm heading east to go visit the Redorans. But I should probably head up there. So let's fast travel back to Fort Frostmouth and head west and check out that other uh, quest. Yeah, the game is feeling moderately faster with the uh, lower resolution. Okay, so let's just make sure that we have our bearings. We're heading, we probably want to head north over this hook, so we're going to be heading mostly straight from here, and then hooking left at some point. So let's run through here. We'll hop over this stuff, out. Looks like oh, there's a, a bunch of um, there are a bunch of additional points. They're in my head. <laughs> okay. Whoa, dude, I don't really want to fight you, but suppose if I am going to, I'll just give you a shout and run off. So yeah, I'm going to run up here and see. The only downside of playing with the sound off, well, apart from missing out on the awesome music and neat voices, is that I won't get a lot of notification if I find myself in combat because ordinarily you can rely on the music changing or something like that to tell you. But I will cope. There's a castle up here, I guess. High Point Tower. Oh, that's that thing. Okay, well I don't need anything there. And it looks like the barrow is southwest of here. I hope I don't get stuck somehow. Oh, 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 shoot. Oh, let's give him a friend. And we're going to 
Head mostly straight, hook a little bit to the right. Oh. Creep clusters, uh, clusters are kind of uh, orangish around here. Okay, so how am I doing? Uh, more south. we go. And um, yeah, so this, the aesthetics of this area, there's, they actually are pretty different from Skyrim. Instead of feeling like everything's covered with snow, it, it has the, the cold ash feel to it pretty well. And I think that's, that is the kind of thing that Hey, where are you going? Where are you going, dude? Hey, whoa, oh, oh, foobar. One of these things. Wait, it's a different kind of spriggan. Okay. So I hope that he doesn't kill whatever burnt spriggan. Different alchemy ingredient. Weakness to fire. Okay, so what are we doing? Uh, relics of Azadal. Okay, well that's definitely a new kind of quest. Um, so what else, what else is there to do? Uh, we want to head up here to meet with the Redoran Guard, and way up here is some kind of treasure. Looks like there's a Temple of Mirak over there. There's a Skull Village over there. Interesting. I guess I'll head east from High Point Tower. I guess it's east and slightly north. Let's just double check this. Oh no, it's just straight up east and we're meeting up with, with guards over there. Last. Oh, there really are quite a lot of useful uh, travel markers around here. I should probably get a, a few more while I'm in th this area. Okay, what is that? There are some bandits, I think. So, let's... Yeah, so the reefers are the local bandit dudes. Whoa. Storm Fang. Huh. I wonder if that's a unique weapon or. Hail Gold Lockpick. And he's. 
Oh, another one of these spriggans. These things are so annoying. Oh yeah, so I want to mark this place on my map. I'm on to you guys. Um, hmm, interesting. You don't often see the master stuff, but... And I guess I'm no longer in combat, so this should work. So with most of the uh, deposits in the game, you have a main thing that you can mine out of them, and then typically you'll get a gemstone or something else uh, from them. I wonder if that's true for these uh, new types of um, for these new types of mines. Anyhow, now we want to be heading east and slightly south. It looks like if we do it from here, we can pick up whatever that house is. Is there a Dwemer ruin over there? Whoa. Oh, well, we already have one of these guys, so. Looks like these guys are not particularly dangerous, but they're Kind of irritating. Well, I'll get their jelly. And yes, I am ready to get that jelly. So, I'm curious about what the Dwemer ruins are like. If, if this is a Dwemer ruin, maybe they reuse the symbol for something else. So at least put it on our map. Well, that's not looking super Dwemer. No, it's Dwemer. And it has a Dwemerish name. Okay, so we'll mark it. But we won't actually go in. And let's hop down, down, and over. Huh. And this looks like a house. Hey. Okay. Nothing new weapon-wise. Stator hearts are kind of rare, but I don't really have a need for them right now. Uh, I have some books. Okay, you don't have anything I need. Maybe I have something that you need. Could get rid of an ebony bow. It's kind of heavy. Or one of these. Uh, did not mean to pick one of those up. Ah, uh, sure. There we go. And right now, I am heading east and a little bit south. And this looks like it's a kind of ashy, snowy storm. Interesting. Oh, oh, and there's the, the volcano that destroyed uh, Morrowind. Although I have heard that you cannot swim to it, otherwise it would be pretty tempting. To give that a go. Over here. Whoa, there's, is there something over? Okay, it's a fox, and this is a neat looking river that flows down into the ocean. Okay, and let's just go mark this place. And now we're going to head over and meet whoever it is over here. Well, except I, I don't see... Okay. So let's send this assassin and I'm gonna use a bound sword and my shield because I think I 
this is one of those times when hmm yeah not particularly attractive gear but what can you do okay so I need to enter this place in order to protect the counselor so let's do that Duck down and in we go I'm hoping this doesn't mean I need to fight a whole bunch of ash uh, zombies but I have the feeling that it uh, that it does Dramora has, I guess, maybe already found something to fight? Maybe not. I'll do a quick look around the main floor before I head down. Nothing all that interesting. Uh, it sounds like my Vermora has is making friends. Probably don't need any more of this stuff. Let's see. I'm glad that he's still around. But I'm probably going to want to summon him again because he's getting near the end of his uh, lifespan. Plus, I can use him to draw any aggro. Over there. Yep, you go run ahead and have some fun. Is that a trap of some kind? Oh, looks like he's going at more than one of these at once. So is the goal actually to... Uh, looks like, yeah, I, I just need to exterminate all these guys. That's irritating, but doable. Sweet rolls. Oh. Dragon broke. Didn't know dragons could break. Anyhow, let's keep on moving. I guess there are some more books. And, guys. And I have taken some good wounds here. Looks like there are more than able to face at once, so I will keep on backing up and prepare to keep on calling my friend back. Okay. 
So Miri Severin is, I think, it's at least a named foe, so that's a sign. It's probably pretty tough. And it's coming over here, so. Cool. Got some keys, that's a good thing. Okay, so I guess that's weird. I really thought I saw that thing move. I do not need any more big heavy things. Yeah, nothing else in here I need. Keep on moving. Now sometimes you can actually summon things, yeah, like that, on the other side of... Ooh, yuck. You can summon things through uh, barriers. Not always, though. This, yeah, that opened it up. But let's see what's in here. It looks like it's a fighting match, or a boxing well, it looks kind of like a boxing ring. I guess it's not really. But it's a fighting ring, presumably, for people to train their fighting skills. Moving on. Yeah, this dungeon is fairly different from uh, from any that we've seen in Skyrim. And, yeah, just in case, because my summon could easily do something stupid and walk right over these things, I would prefer not to die a stupid death. Okay, that's two pull chains. I hope that that's good enough. Yeah, it is. Good. Okay, so I am ducking down and those guys are over there. Knock him over, and I wonder if these guys will trigger the traps. See, I will run over here and see what happens. Oh, I don't, I don't know who the Tong is, but you are kind of kicking my butt. So, fortunately. Wow, I have a lot of potions of healing. I'll give you a friend to play with. No, don't run that way. Stay here and defend me. Oh, bloody hell. Okay, guess I have to summon him again. And don't let him actually have enough movement to cause me a problem. Whoa. Okay, I'm almost dead. Okay, and let's put our shield in the left hand. And I 
am definitely training my 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 use of shield here. Apparently the threat is done even though they're not all dead. Which is kind of weird, but Oh, might as well, yeah. So it might make sense for me to try to, um, oh, okay. I should probably make sure that I always have some kinds of weapons around just in case I run out of mana or I want to do some backstabbing and don't want to summon a dagger. Whoa! Okay. So I wonder if the swinging traps uh, scale in the same way that uh, enemies scale. It would make sense if they were to become more deadly. I wonder what, what these keys open. Maybe they open this. Maybe not. Quill, paper. And I don't see another way out of here. Unless it's through the water. Maybe it's through the water. On the other hand, the fact that there are skeletons in there, I think I will save the game just in case. But my health is not going down, so that's a good sign. And I'm not seeing anything interesting. But let's uh, get myself some better lighting. Oh, that's a torture. Oh, that's a pretty nasty torture, too. I think you chain somebody up and you raise the level of water in a pit. Till they're almost drowning. Ugh. Anyhow, I guess there doesn't seem to be any interesting uh, other stuff around here, so out we go. and I have wiped out this local cult of assassins. And gotten some useless keys. Oh, was there a chest up here that I... No, I guess not. It's kind of weird having all this, sh this ash inside here when there's no vis uh, no clear way for the ash to get inside. But, oh well. Okay, let's just... So we already have the fast travel point to here, so we can safely return back. Not losing anything. Yeah, so comparing this to Don Guard, uh, Don Guard also provides a lot of um, new terrain to explore, but it's terrain that you by and large don't get to see on a map. I think that the hack that they put in so that um, Solstheim has its own over uh, has its own big map. It's something that they didn't. Uh, it's a software feature that they didn't have uh, before this uh, this release. I mean, some mods uh, added that stuff, but uh, 
so it's hard to compare the amount of new land in uh, in this mod, but add to that of um, of down guard, but. Okay, so I apparently am going to follow him. Oh, not very far. So we did see this this kind of garb uh, on rich, uh, I guess, human type people in Skyrim. So apparently, rich people tend to dress the same. Okay, so I've distributed five of the ten. Uh, okay, so I have presumably some local storage. I hope this isn't the super buggy house. It might be. See if the place is still bugged. First, I'm going to save just because it's kind of dangerous to step into uh, to glitched uh, places like this. Oh no! Okay, it loaded correctly this time, and yeah, everything looks like it is mine. Sweet. Do I? Oh, so the mannequins were actually magically animated somehow before. But they're not animated for me, but that's fine. I guess I could have a room if I wanted to. And there's a bed, which is now mine, too. So I'm going to drop off some of this stuff. Um, still seem to have a lot of weight. I guess some of this stuff is heavy. Still not sure what those are for. Uh, 
Okay. Ruby. Need that anymore. I'm actually rather fond of that book, uh, The Locked, um, uh, what was it again? The Locked Room, I think. Yeah, Locked Room. It's kind of a neat little story. I wonder what it would be like having a job writing... writing stories for... Wow, yeah, this is really a pretty nice house. It has mining, smelting... Or I'm sorry, uh, like armor and weapons improvement, uh, smithing, smelting. A nice alchemy thing with all sorts of stuff in it, and uh, enchanting. It looks like it's one of the, the most full-function houses in, uh, in the game. It's really pretty big. It has a nice little guest room in here, too. So yeah, if I didn't already have uh, a house that I were rather fond of, I might be tempted to make this my house. Now, I'm hoping that the glitchy loading was just a one-time event, but you never really know. Or at least it undermines uh, your conf uh, one's confidence in the game. So, what's next? Can go up north and see the Temple of Merak if I want to. Or I could go and see the Skull Village. Actually, I'm going to pop into the Dwemer Ruin. I'm wondering if the Dwemer Ruins are very different between... Uh, well, I guess this is kind of Morrowind. Between Morrowind and Skyrim. And it would be interesting to know if the Thalmer are over here or not. So, yeah, come on, it's a big sword. Imagine it would be hard to swing a sword that big. Okay, so, oh, what's going on here? Is this a dead person? Looks like a dead person. With your typical Dwemer artifacts. So I don't think the that uh, oh it's okay. <clears throat> this looks a little bit like one of the great elevators down into um, into uh, that giant underground cavern beneath Skyrim. Okay, so that is dead. I'm a little bit nervous that We're going to see the Dwemer Spheres. I don't see one yet, but... Hmm. 
really big room. I don't think I saw too many rooms of that size uh, before. Oh, and someone shooting fire at Still reasonably hidden. Huh, they really killed my Killed my Dramora pretty quickly La last time, but this time they're, uh, whoa! I cut her head clean off. I guess they were, uh, they were able to gang up on him. So the game did mention that there are trials here. So I should probably be wary of that. Resonance gem. That's interesting. Solving mystery, gate unmovable, proper trial, pattern on, on the gate. Uh, this hella cool Nordic stuff. Oh, and that looks like one of those spinny blade things. Okay. So I wonder if I need more resonance gems. <laughs> Not sure where I would find them. Okay, there's a door looking thing. Uh, left and lower right. Okay. See if I can somehow manage. Oh, yeah, left, lower right. Whoa! Did that end up lowering the gate over there? Whoa, okay. And those look new up there. And somebody just did me some pretty hefty damage those things. Don't know what they are. Dwarven Ballista Masters. Okay. It's not a good sounding thing to be going up against. In general when you hear Words like ballista, it's not a good sign. Oh, someone is shooting at me. Oh. Okay, so let's heal up. And be ready to summon a new Primora Lord. Where are these guys? Oh, there is... Okay, so we're going to bring out a bound sword. These things are really tough to kill. You stop that. Okay. And another bound. 
Bound Sword. That's one down. Let's see, we don't have any particularly interesting drops. Where is it? It's over there. Okay, let's give. And uh, another bound sword. Okay, that's enough cutscene game. Okay. I'm a little bit disappointed that the, uh, that it doesn't have any more particularly in interesting drops, but where did I come from? I. came from straight ahead, over to the left is not open, but over to the right is newly open. Let's see what's up this way. Oh, interesting. Okay, so apparently I need to get more resonance gems. Wow, that is, those are a lot of ingots. What spell do I have active now? It's not... That's weird. I don't know what this spell is. And... Oh, maybe I ac accidentally activated a... Um, That's what must have happened. I think I accidentally activated... Uh, a chest. Well, I don't see anything interesting in here, but this is about the time to wrap this uh, Let's Play up. Uh, so I'll see you in the next one.